Welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipski, your host. I have this Android tablet. Um, it has a broken USB slot. I wasn't able to fix it because uh, the whole the little um, panel broke, and the only for, for me to replace it is actually to replace the whole board. But that would be very expensive. Might as well buy a new tablet. But I didn't want to throw this tablet away. And my daughter really wants it, so I decided to change another way. Right? Another way is maybe. Uh, make it into a wireless charging unit. So there we go. We have now a tablet that is a wireless charging unit built in. So I'm using Dorsal uh, Pow Mat. This is a uh, receiver and then here's a transmitter. So I'll show you how to mod it. Watch this. Here's the transmitter. I slide it in and voila. Now it's charging. Pretty cool. Let's get started. EducateTube.com. So we are going to fix it. So I open it up already can see there now my um, my approach is this because the USB port is broken right I already removed it okay I removed that already what we're gonna do now the only option I have is to um, plug in another wire here red blue and black and Rewire into this um, power mat, dorsal power mat. Now this is a uh, wireless charging device as well. But what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to put it the wiring into this power mat, and so this unit is able to charge wirelessly as well. Now the only problem is it's going to be bulky. Okay, it's going to be like that. So this will be placed on top of it like this but that would be okay as long as it's able to charge it. So what I'm going to do, yeah, let's remove this. Okay, so there we go. I, there's a battery in here. We're going to remove that battery. Instead, we're going to wire it to this battery here. Okay, so let's re remove this battery here. What I'm going to do, you see these wire? It's the exact same color, except for the blue one, as the, um, we replaced with a yellow uh, wire. So we're going to uh, cut the wire here and I'm going to open up the wiring here so that I can just solder in or just um, uh, roll it in okay let's let's do that so we're going to cut about I guess about here I want it as long as possible okay so let's cut it it's about there that much okay I'm going to save this batter for later I can use it for something else Okay, now we're going to open this up. We're going to open up this one as well. Let's see if we can rewire this. Put it into something like that. So let's open up the wire. Access to the copper here. Now you want to put a tape over it just in case you know you want to short circuit anything here. We'll do the yellow one at last because that, that one is not as important as the red and black because that's the positive negative terminal whereas the, um, the yellow one is more of the um, battery indicator or monitor okay there we go now the hard part of course is this one here you need to um, open this up now without breaking um, let me show you here we gotta open it up just you know expose the wire between here but not actually breaking this uh, connector here okay we'll, we'll just have to somehow open it up without damaging it so what we want to do is expose a uh, wire in between there and we're going to insert this these wires in there okay I'm going to drill a hole into this um, plate right about here so I'm going to drill a hole right there back plate of the uh, tablet there we go I'm doing a plate here Okay, I drilled three holes for three wires. You can see there. Okay, I'm gonna put the 
three wires here. The um, the yellow, the black, and the red into separate holes here. Okay, so I put the wire over this side like that. Okay, now I'm gonna hot glue it to permanently settle the wire here. I'm gonna hot glue here so it will stay put as I'm moving around. Okay, now this side of course is I'm gonna hot glue here as well. And there we go. Okay, we're gonna hot glue the wire so it will stay on the surface. You don't want it to be moving and get loose. Okay, we're gonna hot glue. Just hot glue here. And hot glue here. Okay, so we're good. That's pretty sturdy. And yeah. Okay, I need a, another wire because I these wires are too short here. Okay, so we're gonna have to extend that using an extra wire here. Um, it's also a, a uh, thicker wire, so we have more current that can run through it. Now, what you want to do first, actually, to be safe, make sure you tape one end of the wire with the tape, just in case they come in contact with each other. You want short circuit and uh, start a fire here with the lithium battery so let's do that always play safe you never know right protect these two ends i just want to show you first what i'm doing okay so you can see i'm doing a i don't can see that here i'm doing a t wiring so here you see that see the, right here there's a t wiring so this will go towards the wireless charging unit, okay? And this is going to go to the battery. So we're going to do that for all three wire here: the red, blue, and right now the black is already done. So we have to tape that in. Okay, so the T wiring works right there. We're going to do that for the other one, the red wire, the positive terminal. Okay, I'm going to solder it in again. Okay, I'm going to solder it in. Okay, so far so good. I have the black and red uh, terminal, which is positive and negative terminal, being um, T-wired like that. Now I just got to do the center. This is the battery indicator or sensor. Blue wire here, but yellow wire, wire on this side here. So we're going to put them together. Okay, so the three wire is all wired up. Okay, we're now going to put it into this wiring unit and you see that oops there we go okay in the back okay this is the charging the wireless charging unit the door cell power mat we're gonna wire into here positive red black um, negative terminal and yellow is the battery sensor or indicator okay I'm going to I'm going to wire the, um, the yellow wire first Okay, this is the battery sensor. We're going to do that first. I'm going to tape that. There we go. First one's done. Okay, the next one I'm going to do the black wire, the negative terminal. Good. And then, of course, the last one is the red wire, the positive terminal. Make, you, make sure you feel the wire. Make sure it's um, okay. If it starts to heat up, you know there's something wrong. When the battery starts heating up, you know something is wrong. You need to pull it off right away. Okay, always feel for the wire. Make sure there's no short circuiting. Especially with lifting bags, very dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. Short circuit that, you'll pretty much blow up the lithium battery. Okay, so I wired it up pretty good. Now let's plug it into the um, plug the battery into the the module circuit of the tablet. Plug that in. Make sure it's 
sure it works. There we go, we we'll plugged it in. Okay. Next thing. Of course, just to try it out. Okay, so here is the um, how mat, the uh, transmitter, the wireless transmitter. I'm going to try is to see if this uh, receiver will work, which is attached to this tablet. Okay, we'll give it a try. Let's turn it on. Okay, okay there we go. Okay, it's turned on. Okay, this is turned on. I'm going to see if it works first before we do anything. Ooh. See, there's a, actually there's a battery indicator here. You can see that there. It's um, kind of like half, uh, one, a uh, half full, right, the light indicator there. Now, let's see if it works. Just, just got to see. Please tell me it worked. It'd be awesome. Okay, so it's finished now. I put the back cover uh, into the tablet. Okay, so there's two ways to charge this wirelessly, like on the dorsal mat, like this one here. Let me unplug this, sorry. I'm going to unplug this first. Okay, like that. Or plug it in directly to the USB connector and you can charge that way. And you can tell it's indicating that it's charging right here. It's flashing. Okay, now the thing is, the indicator, the battery indicator doesn't show that it's charging. But I suspect that once this reaches full, the battery unit itself is charged and then it will show up as full. Okay, even though the system here doesn't show that it's being charged. But this is why I redirect the, um, the wire to this unit here, this unit here, the uh, door cell um, wireless charging unit. And uh, it will charge through neither a USB or through the wireless mat. That, okay? We're going to see what happens. I'll wait another hour or two, see if it's uh, going up at all. For example, right now it's at 13%. We'll see if this goes up to maybe like 50%, all right, in about an hour or two. Okay, so about 30 minutes or so, you can see that it's uh, still charging, so it's working. I've tested it, and uh, as you can see here, looking quite good. So it can be charged wirelessly, okay, or it can be using, using a USB plug. You can plug in the back here of this dorsal mat, and it should work as well. There we go. Okay, and that works as well. Uh, it can charge both way very convenient so instead of throwing this uh, tablet away because the um, the um, the slot the USB slot wasn't working was damaged I now modded into a wireless uh, charging unit using a door cell um, power mat uh, this one I bought for about uh, uh, you can get it probably around three to five bucks okay depending on where you buy it um, if you buy on a door cell website, it's probably about 20 bucks, but anyway, you know, depending on what's on sale or not. Okay, and then you want to charge it, just slide it in, and then charge it wirelessly. It's pretty cool. Now my uh, Android tablet can be charged wirelessly. I know it looked kind of funny with the bulkiness, but now it's, it works well. Charge super well. Thanks for watching! Educate2.com! I hope you can do one as well mod your Android tablet that has a broken USB slot and make it into a wireless charging unit. Pretty cool! Educate2.com